The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is asking for help tracking down the owner of an abused dog. Hello, I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. The dog was left for dead in a ditch. CBS 42 News reporter Matt Fernandez is live at the Birmingham Animal Care Center tonight where the dog is being treated. And Matt, let's start with this. How's the dog doing this evening? Jim, take a look at this boxer right here. He is doing a whole lot better than when they originally found him on the side of the road in Adger, and he is recovering very well. A good Samaritan spotted this fun-loving boxer injured by John Road around 5.30 on Monday. She called deputies. When they arrived, the dog was in bad condition. You know, it's a, it's a large, heavy chain, and it looked like it had been tightly around that, that dog's neck for so long that it, it was growing into its skin and uh, very dehydrated and again have we not found it uh, when we did and had she not reported it uh, uh, probably could not have rescued the dog the gbhs animal care and control took the dog to its vet clinic in hoover for treatment our veterinarian clipped the fur around the wound and cleaned it and then removed the chain around the neck and then probably cleaned it some more and then went in and sutured everything together so that it would heal properly. The sheriff's office is currently investigating how the dog got there and they're trying to find its owner. The person responsible could face misdemeanor or felony charges. Uh, we need to find justice for that little fellow and, um, and that's what we're trying to do now. The boxer is expected to be okay. And he should completely recover from the collar wound. He also has an injured front leg that we're investigating the exact cause of and what the right course of treatment is for that. And then after that, um, eventually he'll end up either in a foster home or a permanent adoptive home. And the sheriff's office is continuing their investigation. They are looking for leads. If you have any information, you're asked to call the sheriff's department. Reporting live, Matt Fernet, CBS 42 News.